Hi and welcome back to the AQA GCSE History Britain Health and the People Revision Series. This is episode 8 and we're looking at the rise of doctors and surgery. Many doctors in Britain trained at the College of Physicians, which was set up in 1518. Here they read books by Galen, but also studied recent medical developments. Doctors who trained at the college gained a licence, which separated them from large numbers of quack doctors. However, a licence didn't guarantee that a doctor would give you the most effective course of treatment. Sometimes an inexperienced, unlicensed doctor would be just as good. Explorations abroad brought back new ingredients for drugs to Britain. These were believed to be able to cure syphilis and malaria. Other exotic drugs that were sold might just have been advertising gimmicks. Dissections, which enabled doctors to see how the body worked, became a key part of medical training in the 1700s. In the Middle Ages, there were two types of surgeons. There was a small group of professional, highly trained surgeons that were highly paid by their rich patients. Then there was the unqualified barber surgeons. In general, surgeons weren't respected compared to doctors. In the 1700s and 1800s, surgeons began to gain the same status as doctors. In 1800, the London College of Surgeons was created, which set training standards for surgeons for the first time. Hunter joined his brother William, a successful doctor, at the anatomy school in London. Dissecting human corpses was a large part of the school's teaching. Over 12 years, Hunter was present at over 2,000 dissections, developing a vast knowledge of the human body. Hunter became an army surgeon in France and Portugal and a popular surgeon and teacher in England. During his work, he learned about STDs, which was a major cause of illness at the time. He also introduced a new approach to treating gunshot wounds. In operation in 1785, he introduced a new way to treat an aneurysm, which is a bulge in a blood vessel, in a man's thigh. Hunter tied off the blood vessels to encourage the blood to throw through the other vessels, preventing it from being amputated. Hunter is especially remembered for encouraging better approaches to surgery and a good scientific habit. So that's the end of episode 8 of the AQA GCSE History Britain Health and the People Revision Series. Next episode we'll be looking at hospitals. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.